boom, 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 Did you see that? Did you see that? Did you see it? It worked, it worked, it worked. It worked, it worked, it worked, it worked. It worked. Oh, watch out for ants. Bam! Check this out. You know what this is? This is a Walmart glider. It's not actually made by Walmart. It's just found at Walmart. It's actually made by uh, Maui. It's called the Sky Rider. You may have seen this in uh, flight test videos. They did a video on that and after that it exploded and everybody was making their versions. I made my own version which is over there. The Golden Jet. You may check that out. Also check out the uh, return of the Golden Jet where I actually got this thing flying. And also my buddy Ben, Heavy Thunder. He made the Thunder Horse which is this awesome purple unicorn uh, version of this thing, so check that out. I think I have a, a video up on that from Flight Fest. But I thought that's really cool. What if we made a flying wing out of this glider right here? And because that way, you know, it could be really uh, compact because the, wing, the wings pop out of the fuselage. Um, it would just be cool and something, just something neat to do. So in this video, we're gonna see if we can make an FPV flying wing out of this glider. Here we go. Kucha! I'm calling it the wall wing because this is a Walmart glider that I turned into a flying wing as you have just seen in the build montage most likely. Is it gonna work? I don't know. Is it awesome? Kinda. I am gonna hook up a little camera eventually but right now I got a little quarter, a little 25 cent piece for uh, ballast so that's fun. Oh yeah, balance. It's like they say, um, sometimes things work. That's what they say, right? Yep, definitely. And sometimes they don't. But <laughs> we won't think about that right now. No one says that. <laughs> no one says that. Nerve wracking. All right, here we go. Oh, wait, do you think? What do you think is gonna happen? Hmm. I think it'll glide for a little bit, and then it'll kind of, you know, maybe not. Die. But it might work, and it's gonna actually. It's actually. No, no. It's. Put it in the comments <laughs> below. What do you think is gonna happen right now? Pause the video right now. Put it in the comment section. Okay, here we go. It's actually, that is actually specifically how I made it. I thought it got torn off or something. No, 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 that's not how I build things. Wait, what happened? Did it, did, what did it do? Did it pitch up or did it, or? Oh. You were watching. You know, so there was like, a problem. You know I'm what the problem sure what is? I'm not getting enough. Fuss. I think I need to get a 3-cell. I think that's the, okay. 
force though. I think I need to <laughs> Dang, on, it did was, something. That was, it, I think that was that's a record. That's mm -hmm. a record. It had so much potential. I thought. I, I just. I thought. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? I think we learned a lot. Um, and stuff. That's not what I really want to say. <laughs> All right. So some would would call this a failure. Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. You thought that was over. This isn't over. We're back. We're at a different place. I'm wearing a different shirt. Uh, Tess is still helping me film. Thank you. And we have the Walmart glider wing thing. But this time we got these fins. Ooh, check those fins out. Also, what I did is I put a smaller four cell battery farther up. So this way the, the, no, the weight should be hopefully be farther forward. I did some uh, tests on simple planes and kind of made up a, a plane that's like similar to this ish. And I did notice that if the weight was distributed better and not just all in the back, or at least not at all like farther back, it worked better. Also, I adjusted the throws a little bit. Uh, we're just going to give it a go and uh, and and just and just go for it and see what happens. Same prop, same motor. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! It's really nose heavy. Whoa! 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 Tessa, are you getting this? Are you getting this, Tessa? Tessa, talk to me, Tessa. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, dude! Dude! <laughs> Whoa! So I'm using like quite a bit of up elevator. I think it has quite a bit of nose weight, but which is good because that's what's keeping it like, you know, that's what's keeping it moving and grooving. Words cannot even, cannot even describe. And uh, it's getting a little squirrely, a little squirrely. I'm gonna do a flyby over it. Oh, look at that. You beautiful thing. Ah, uh, like some sort of majestic flying animal. That is just learn to fly and you're kind of all over the place. But you're like, oh look at me. Alright, so I can see very uh it is quite obvious that if I don't keep the speed up and the nose down, it will go into a uh, stall spin situation very fast. So I'm gonna bring it in for a landing. Boom, 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 boom. Did you see that? Did you see it? Did you see it? It worked, it worked, it worked. Ooh! Ooh! Wow. That was great. Okay. That was that was that was I was I was very surprised actually. I was, I was surprised also. It actually flies. This thing flies. 850 million power, four cell, right about in this general region. I'm not sure if it's too nose heavy or if it just needs a lot of speed. It definitely wants to dip that nose if it doesn't have enough airspeed. See, here's the thing. Reflex is when you have the, um, the control surfaces are, are uh, giving it a little nose, um, a little nose up attitude. So they're, they're, like, they're like up a little bit like that. But since the nose was pitching down, maybe I should add some positive reflex. Um, I think that's the right term. I just made that up maybe. I don't know. The only other concern uh, <clears throat> that I was that I was kind of thinking of that I kind of noticed was like the flexing of the wings. Oh yeah, see that? So I'll probably put a piece of tape along the bottom here um, to keep the uh, the wings kind of together and to keep from you know bending upwards. All in all, she flies. You know, sometimes you think that something isn't going to work. And sometimes it doesn't as we talked about previously at the other field. And sometimes people do say that things won't work, but sometimes people are wrong. And in this case, I was wrong because I thought that this was not gonna work. But apparently adding some fins, changing up the battery selection in terms of the weight, a few minor changes, and then boom, it works. So let this be a lesson to just keep on trying, even though you may be terribly depressed and not expect much. Uh, but anyway, thanks for joining me, everybody. Um, wow. 
Give this video a like if you liked this video. Share it with someone who is interested in this kind of stuff. Uh, leave a comment below. Tell me what you think of this or about uh, the modifications I made or anything else like that. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. First flight FPV ever. Well, this has been very fun, very productive. Very productive. But that doesn't mean make it. That's not what makes it fun. It was fun, but it, and in addition to being excellently fun, it was also productive, which is a bonus. Like 100 percent, and then another 120 or 100. So kind of just blew it out of the water. Yeah, exactly.